Welcome, people of planet Earth and... Welcome, people of planet Earth and all planets beyond. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Josh, and welcome to Heat Check, our weekly look at the last seven days of the highest-selling vintage t-shirts on eBay. So let's take a look. So this week's list is a super cool one. Got a lot of cool bangers, a lot of cool tees on the list. Um, surprisingly, no exact repeats, though we do have a few that are sort of in the same genre or the same artist or on the same tag or something like that um, uh, as previous weeks, but no exact repeats, so that's pretty cool. Another surprising thing about this week's list is uh, we have quite a few um, younger tees, like early, nine, or, uh, early 2000s, late 90s tees that end up on this list pretty high in some cases, so that's a bit surprising. Uh, but, you know, the market's growing, Y2K stuff is in, it's cool, so uh, you don't ever really know what's gonna show up, so that's always what makes it super fun. Now, the way this list works is I go onto eBay, do as much research as I possibly can to confirm that these t-shirts are legit sales. Uh, so I try to eliminate anything that looks suspicious, looks like a shill bid, uh, stuff like that. Um, you can actually look here, here I'll give you an example of how this works. Uh, right here is a t-shirt, uh, a Tank Girl t-shirt, uh, that was apparently sold for like six thousand dollars well something looked a little funny and so when I looked it up again I found that this t-shirt was actually listed again with the exact same photos from the same not from the same buyer but from the similar buyer in Japan uh, so this is the exact same t-shirt same photos and everything uh, listed uh, on eBay right now for half the price that this one sold for. So my guess is someone's trying to manipulate the market with this t-shirt, make it look like it sold for 6000 uh, and then they you know put theirs up for 3000 so people uh, feel like they're getting a deal, and maybe someone goes out there and rushes the market and tries to buy the t-shirt. I think this one is suspicious, therefore I did not make the list. So I try to do this type of stuff as much as I can uh, to avoid uh, stuff that is suspicious or maybe potentially fraudulent in sales. Try to give you the most accurate picture of what's going on in the market. Anyways, so without further ado, let's get into it. Let's take a look at the top 10. Now starting us off at number 10, we have Smashing Pumpkins Mission to Mars T. Uh, this thing, I'm a big fan of Smashing Pumpkins. This one's on the Giant by TJ's tag. Uh, this thing is super dope, super super cool. I mean, I love, freaking love Smashing Pumpkins. One of the cooler Pumpkins tees in my opinion. I uh, love the text on the back. Uh, sometimes, in my opinion, uh, pumpkins tees can be a little bit underwhelming. Uh, but this one is super dope, super cool, and this one's super crispy as well. Uh, looks, looks, everything looks legit as far as I can tell. I don't see anything that uh, pops out to me as, as a suspect. Uh, but this one sold for $800 uh, with quite a few bids. Uh, there were quite a few bidders for this particular t-shirt. I think the, uh, you know, the, the owner claims to have uh, purchased this when he was 14. Um, it looks like it was a legit sale with plenty of people interested in this t-shirt and it sold for $800 plus shipping. Now next up we have a vintage Ed Donahue Grateful Dead t-shirt, uh, XL, tie-dye. The Grateful Dead tees are always in demand. Everybody wants them. Uh, they're super popular and obviously they look super dope. Uh, this one has a copyright date of 1979, which just to point out to everybody that is not the date of the production of this t-shirt. You can actually see here this is not a 1979 tag. This is a, probably an early 90s tag. Uh, uh, still super dope. That was just the copyright for the, the art. And this might be a particularly rare art, which is why it went for the price it did. I'm not a huge expert in uh, Grateful Dead tees, but this did strike me as a little bit high. Um, I couldn't find anything of the particular same style, so maybe uh, uh, maybe it's just rare. Uh, but this one went for $827 plus shipping. Uh, super cool tee. Now next up we have a regular shower on this list and that is a 3D emblem Harley tee. Uh, this one is not my favorite <laughs> to be honest. Uh, I just don't think it's as cool as some of the other ones have been. Uh, but it's, uh, you know, these are harder to find especially in good sizes and good um, condition. Uh, this one looks great. This one was sold out of the Netherlands for $900 uh, plus shipping. Uh, obviously quite uh, quite expensive to, to ship it from outside of the country if you're buying it from in the United States uh, But it seems legit everything seems uh, for the most part pretty above board So uh, a little surprised that this t-shirt went for as much as it did because I don't think it's one of the cooler ones But uh, nevertheless someone was interested in it now next we have a 1990 Allison Chains facelift tour tee 
Uh, this thing is super great. I mean, look at the colors on this. It's super dope. On the Lee tag, um, I was a little surprised. Uh, I thought this was an older Lee, uh, like a younger Lee tag, uh, but I, I guess I, I definitely could be wrong about that. Um, facelift tour. I mean, I love, I love the, the the font and the print on this back, the back hit too. Uh, but the front art is super sick. Uh, this one uh, originally apparently was owned by. This is being sold by the original owner, so uh, that's great. Size XL, which is a great size. Uh, it was used but not abused, as it says right here. Uh, this one is sold for $935 uh, with lots of bidders uh, trying to get at this t-shirt right here with free shipping. Uh, pretty sick tee, that's for sure. Dope tee. Next, we have the vintage 1997 Spider-Man Marvel comic graphic t-shirt. Uh, you can see it's in size XL, which is a pretty hard size to come by uh, for tees like this. Um, but this one's super sick. Uh, double stitch. This is from the late 90s. This is not part of, or at least not one of those early 90s all over print Marvel tees that are so popular. Um, I'm a little bit surprised it went for what it went just because it's not that crazy of a graphic. Uh, but I have never seen this design before out on a t shirt, so that's quite possibly why uh, it went for what it went. Uh, but it went for $1,100 with 55 bids. So a lot of action on this. I think it was 17 or so uh, bidders that were interested in this t shirt. Um, as far as I can tell, everything looks legit. I mean, this is a pretty sick t-shirt uh, for sure. Um, if you, especially if you're collecting these Marvel tees and this one's a hard one to find, uh, then you had to have it. So, super sick. All right, next up, we have another regular on this list, and that is a Wu-Tang tee. It always sort of seems to be sort of middle, upper middle of this list here. Uh, this one's dope. Uh, love the front hit. Love the back hit. Uh, we've got cash rolls everything around me. This thing is super sick. Um, this one is on a Sun Air tag, which is uh, just a little bit lower end uh, t-shirt in my opinion. Uh, but uh, this one uh, sold for $1,200, uh, which is uh, quite a bit lower than the other ones that are listed. I think there's one listed at least for $6,000. Um, interestingly enough, this, uh, the seller claims to be the original owner um, and that he had relisted this because the original buyer for the previous sale did not pay. And this is a, obviously a super common issue with uh, vintage t-shirts. People accept uh, making offers, being accepted, and then uh, not paying for it. Uh, this is uh, pretty frustrating because I think some of it is mostly just to try to make a particular t-shirt look like it's worth more. Uh, because what will happen is once uh, the offer is accepted, the, the eBay comps will show that this t-shirt was sold for a, a best offer, but it will keep this number here and won't tell the public what exact number was accepted. Uh, so it makes um, shirts and other items look inflated for the price, um, which is super frustrating because you can put up a t-shirt for $10,000, take an offer for 500, and it make it look like uh, it's sold for, you know, maybe not $10,000 obviously, but uh, it, you would assume it's something like half that or something at the very least. So it's a little bit frustrating and that's why sometimes these comps can be a little bit difficult for the average person to sort of sort through if you don't have some of the back-end tools that eBay gives their store uh, store owners. Uh, but this one did sell for $1,200. Super cool tee. Uh, definitely uh, deserving to be on the list. The wrap tee trend continues with this uh, Snoop Dogg, uh, Snoop Diggity Dog, Tupac tee. Uh, this is probably uh, one of those bootlegs that you would find in the back. I have actually seen this uh, before. Um, I don't remember what the prices were on this. I don't think there's been one sold on eBay over the last year. But uh, this seems to be right around the right price for a t-shirt like this on this uh, size large. It looks like we have uh, the measurements here. we got like a 27 and a half uh, by uh, just under 21. So 20 and a half. A little bit of a smaller size large. Uh, for a t-shirt that you uh, like this uh, but super dope has some bleach stains has some holes super worn perfectly in my opinion um, it's 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 an incredible t-shirt a uh, great t-shirt this one sold for fourteen hundred dollars uh, with free shipping so uh, whatever they apparently whatever they are asking for they got for it um, this one is a classic a super dope tee um, and definitely deserving of its spot on the list all right, now for a t-shirt that actually kind of surprised me on this list, and it's this Vintage Authentic with tags, Cash Money Big Timers Urban Streetwear t-shirt. You can see it does have a tag, Hot Boys Urban Streetwear. Um, I, this is an early 2000s tee. Uh, pretty surprised it's this high up on the list. 
Uh, that maybe is a some somewhat of an indicator that we have uh, the Y2K stuff sort of coming into into fashion. Uh, it's got a front end back hit. It's a super cool tee. Uh, definitely a dope tee if you're uh, if you're a wrap tee collector or you just love wrap tees. I and mean, this is definitely a, a super dope tee. Um, but this one sold for $1,999 with free shipping out of Jacksonville, Mississippi. Uh, the seller does not have a lot of history, uh, so there's a little bit of, of, of suspicion there uh, because this is obviously a um, incredibly high price. But I have not been able to find any other copies of the tea ever sold, uh, so it is incredibly rare. Teas from this uh, brand and company do sell in the several hundreds of dollars so uh, for a dead stock rare tea two thousand dollars doesn't seem too out of the question uh, but uh, still a cool tea I guess we'll wait and see if maybe we find out if it gets relisted uh, maybe you know maybe somebody's just trying to, to bump the price up uh, but as far as I can tell it did it get sold and was paid for so uh, pretty cool tea now coming in at number two we have this vintage freak Nick busting loose uh, all over print uh, this uh, freak Nick was a like a college party that was held in Atlanta, Georgia. Uh, this is definitely one of the rarer of the freak Nick t-shirts. Uh, a little bit suspicious here because they did not include any other photos, um, which is a, it's a little bit of a red flag. Uh, but as far as I can tell, the sale did go through. Um, it's one sided all over print, so it's not really all over print, but I don't really know if we have a a definition for that uh, all that well but this is definitely the highest selling freak nick tee i can find it's also one of the more crazy designs of all the freak nick tees that do exist freak nick tees do sell for the up into the five six hundred dollar range for some of the more basic even some of the base more basic designs so not surprised that this one uh would go for as much as it did uh, it's definitely one of the more uh uh eccentric and uh loud of the freak nick tees that are out there uh, but this one did sell for uh twenty two hundred and fifty dollars uh with free shipping out of california um, as far as i can tell everything looks legit on the sale it's a pretty dope tee now before we get to number one just want to let you know that we do have a vintage levi's heat check that comes out on tuesdays so if you're interested in vintage levi's go check that out otherwise let us know if you're enjoying this series in the comments below and let us know which of these t-shirts would you have spent the money on uh, which one is your favorite now let's get to number one all right now at number one we have this vintage sea murder rap tee no limit records this guy looks like it's super crispy uh, they claim that it is dead stock without tags um, you got the front and the the sleeve hit, and then you have the back hit, which is the uh, al name of the album. Um, I'm not super familiar with this artist per se, but uh, the there are other comps for T-shirts from this uh, artist in the several hundreds, but this one is way, way, way up there um, in terms of price. This one did go for three thousand um, dollars. A bit surprising. Uh, that this this tee right here would go for as much um, because there's not a whole lot of design work um, it's a pretty simple tee though again just because it's not loud doesn't mean it's not worth money because uh, some of these tees are just rare and hard to get a hold of so um, if, if you really are trying to get uh, a collection and you're trying to you know you need to have these tees in your collection uh, so you might be willing to pay a crazy amount of money for it and it appears that they did pay a crazy amount of money for this t 2xl sold for three thousand uh, dollars that is good for number one on this list this week pretty crazy all right that was the top 10 and while we didn't have any exact repeats uh, we did have some of those repeats like the 3d emblems uh, the wu-tang clan all those things seem to be sort of recurring high priced t-shirts being sold uh, nonetheless, super cool and super dope. Hope you liked it. Hope you enjoyed it. We'll see you guys on the next one. Thank you and peace.